Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So if I just turn around here, uh, this in this video I'm going to be showing you uh, two really cool and uh, compact uh, good uh, block swapper uh, designs. Uh, these are these might not be the best, the fastest, the cheapest out there, but these are definitely one of the best. I designed both of them myself and uh, without further ado, let me show them to you. So this is design number one. As you can see, it is pretty fast. We had some render issues there. Um, there you go. As you can see, it does it pretty fast. Very good. You can barely even see. Uh, it's almost instant, so to say. But you can tell, obviously, that it's not instant. Uh, this is the design. This is what's going on behind the scenes. Something uh, to uh, note is that these two um, blocks over there are just the input line. The design itself is this right over here so if we remove all these blocks I did them just to make it uh, you know just for the sake of the video to fit all the others this is designed itself as you can see it's a little bit it looks a little bit more compact it's a little bit more compact uh, if we go to this side over here this is design number two this is what's going on behind the scenes it's um, cheaper than this design because it doesn't use any redstone torches or repeaters but uh, it does use a redstone block, which is no big deal. If you're already ha uh, doing redstone stuff, then you <laughs> for sure have more than nine pieces of redstone dust. And here it is. It's a little bit more slower, as you can as you can see. This is the previous design, and this this design. It's almost uh, this design. It it, lo it looks like the blocks are stuck to one another, like they don't they don't move from each other. They're always together. But this design, obviously is not the case now these two things over here are the exact same design uh, design but I added I showed I'm going to show you here how you can pretty much have it with a button if you want to have it in your base then you can have it with a button now this is the exact same designs as you can see over here and there are some ghost blocks over here there you go get out of here get out of here uh, that one's real is this one real I don't know <laughs> um, it's pretty much using a one tick pulse and then you pretty much uh, wire a one tick pulse into your input block and if you don't know what a one tick pulse is there are many designs for one tick pulses but the one I love to use because it's the simplest basically a block redstone dust block block uh, a piston sticky piston or a normal piston with a sand block or a block with gravity on top with a uh, with another block next to it and a one tick repeater just like that we give it a flick you can see it uh, shortens the pulse and creates a one tick pulse and that is pretty much it as you can see those are the two designs and now let me show you how to build them all right how to build it this is how you're going to build the first design I'm going to be using the lever not the one tick pulse you're gonna get your input block you're gonna chuck your lever on that after that you're going to have a stone slab behind it like so with a redstone dust right over there a block of your choice uh, it can be any block I'm just using iron blocks with a repeater set it to two ticks and you can already place your first piston like that you can already chuck down whatever block you want to get swapped I'm just going to use a redstone block for demonstration underneath this lever underneath your input block uh, to be exact you're going to put a redstone dust with a torch right over here and you're going to place a repeater set it to one tick don't change the ticks with a block at another block over there with redstone dust on top and then you can place your second piston right over there and now you check down your other block you want to get swapped and that is the first design done all right how to build the second design you're gonna have your input block right over here then you're gonna check down your lever over there you're gonna have a sticky piston facing down with a block of redstone right over there then you're going to have a block with a redstone dust here and you can already put down your first sticky piston over there put the one of the blocks you want to get swapped right over there then you're going to go down three blocks from the redstone block just like that you're gonna place two redstone dust right over there and then you can place down your second piston over there and put the second block you want to get swapped right over there and that is it 
But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this Minecraft tutorial. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm on my uh, Redstone testing server right now. And as you can see, I got a whole bunch of other contraptions that me, myself, and some other guys have uh, made together. And uh, if you want to see some videos and tutorials on that, what are you doing there? <laughs> uh, some videos and tutorials on that as well then a link in the description will take you to the uh, playlist my tutorial playlist where i cover some of the other contraptions that you see here in the background as well that's going to do it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you have a trickling on that like button and i will see you next time catch you guys later i'm off bye